or dear student in this video series i am going to discuss ki how you can make microprocessor programming so easy to start any microprocessor programming you must know some basic parameter to understand ki how we can perform the microprocessor programming these basic parameters are first you, you must know what is microprocessor what is register what is data and memory address in microprocessor and what is basic function of instructions so let's start one by one to understand microprocessor programming so easily we will discuss ki what is microprocessor and in a very simple language basically microprocessor is a register based electronic device which take input from a storage device that is called memory in term of binary binary means 0 and 1 CPU process the operation according that input which is initially provided by memory and gives output in binary. Uh, meaning to say that ki basically microprocessor is a register based electronic device which take input from a storage device that is called memory in term of binary. CPU process according this input and give output. Both input and output. both are in binary form means 0 and 1 and both input and output stored in memory by this diagram you can easily understand ki what is basically microprocessor this is cpu this is a storage device that is called memory this is also a storage device that is called memory in this functionality basically microprocessor is register based electronic device which take input from a storage device that is called memory in term of binary cpu process according this input and give output in form of binary both input and output are stored in memory so basically this is simple definition of microprocessor and how microprocessor works now move for now next parameter is register basically what is register the register are basically temporary location inside the cpu to store the data and addresses in this register can store data instruction ya memory address in 8085 microprocessor basically in 8085 microprocessor register are used to store 8 bit data basically in microprocessor in 8 bit microprocessor or 8085 microprocessor generally we works on 8 bit data in this register are used to store 8 bit data now register are divided in two part first one is general purpose register second is special purpose register now basically this is register block of 8085 microprocessor there are two types of register first one is special purpose register second was general purpose register basically there are only eight register which are mainly used in 8085 microprocessor now You can see this is basically register in adjacent microprocessor. First one is A means accumulator. Second is flag register. Third one is B register, C register, D register, E register, S register, L register. This sixth register B C D E H L are generally called general purpose register. Why it is called general purpose register? Basically, this type of register only used to store input data. They can store only input data by default in case of special purpose register if you are talking about accumulator why it is called special purpose register basically what happen ki accumulator can store input it can store output by default if you perform any operation in microprocessor by default output will store in accumulator always i am saying by default Means suppose I am adding two number a plus b, then output is stored in accumulator. So then why it is called special purpose? Basically, it stores input. Second, it stores by default output. Third and main important property of accumulator: that without using accumulator, you can't perform any operation in microprocessor. Suppose you are adding two number. My meaning to say that if you are going to add two number, suppose five plus four, 
इट इज रिक्वायर्ड इन माइक्रो प्रोसेसर डेट की वन नंबर मस्ट बी इन एक्लोमीटर बेसिकली दीज आर रजिस्टर बी सी डी एच एम हियर यू कैन सी सी डेट दिस इज डिटेल एट बी मीन्स बस बेसिकली पर्टिकुलर रजिस्टर ओनली स्टोर एट बी डेटा मीन्स एट ए टाइम बी कैन स्टोर ओनली एट बी डेटा नॉट मोर देन एट बी डेटा बेसिकली दीज आर जनरल पर्पज रजिस्टर बिकॉज they only store input by default <coughs> a commuter is called special purpose register why that is called special purpose register because a commuter can store input it store output by default third is and main property ki without using a commuter you can't perform any operation in microprocessor suppose you are subtracting to two number ya multiply to number ya adding to number it is required that ki one number must be in a kilometer and second number you can store in b c d e h l as you want now the basically this register are b c d e h l these are general purpose register a n f that is flag it is called special purpose register suppose what happen in some cases if you want to store section bit data देखो आई एम सेंड डेट की दिस पर्टिकुलर रजिस्टर बी सी डी एच एल स्टोर ओनली एट बिट डेटा बट सम केसेस व्हाट एपन की सपोज यू वांट टू स्टोर सेक्शन बिट डेटा इन डेट कैश वी कैन मेक पेयर नाउ दे आर थ्री पेयर पॉसिबल इन 8085 माइक्रो प्रोसेसर दैट पेयर इज बी सी डी ई एच एल बी स्टोर एट बिट डेटा सी स्टोर एट बिट डेटा by combining two we can store section bit data in same case in case of be d store eight bit data e store eight bit data both can store section bit data same as hl can store section bit data but you must to make a pair for storing section bit data you can't make any pair with accumulator can't make any pair with flag register If you are making a pair A B, that is wrong. If you are making a pair F C, that is wrong. If you are making a pair A F, that is wrong. So basically, there are only three predefined pair in your current microprocessor that are B C D H L. <coughs> if you if you want to work on section bit data, then you can use this register as pair. Pair is B C D H L. Later we discuss the where you can use B C D H L pair or how we can represent basically this pair. If you are working on register B or C, you are working on register D or E or H L. So basically, <coughs> my meaning to say that what is register? This register are basically a temporary location inside the CPU to store data, memory address, or instruction. They are Eight register used in microprocessor to use to store eight bit data. These are defined in two part. One is general purpose register, second is special purpose register. In general purpose register are those register which are used to store only input data by default. And special purpose register are two. One is accumulator, second is flag register. Accumulator. Why that is called special purpose register? There are three properties of accumulator. First one is it can store input as other register. By default, it will store output always. My meaning to say that if you are perform any operation in microprocessor, by default output will be stored in accumulator. Third is to perform any operation, one data must be in accumulator. Now move forward to flag register. Let me discuss ki what is flag register and what is what what are some functionality of flag register in microprocessor. Now uh, let me discuss what is flag register. Flag register generally store the current state of the processor. The flag register or eight bit register in a general microprocessor. Basically, what happen ki when you perform any operation in microprocessor, suppose you are going to add two numbers. Yeah, subtract two number, yeah, multiplication of two number, yeah, division of two number. So basically, when you do perform any operation, the current state of processor 
changes according this output they are changes according the result of operation there are five bits in flash register who represent the current state of microprocessor these are basically this represent bit position 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are basically flag yeah you can say bit of flag register which represent the state of any output yeah any operation this is carry flag this is parity flag this is auxiliary carry flag this is zero flag this is shine flag if this flag has on condition to set yeah reset set means the value of carry flag will be 1 reset means the value of flag will be 0 now let me discuss which condition which flag going to be set yeah reset 1 by 1 first one is carry flag what happen ki suppose you are going to perform addition of two number what happen with carry flag if a carry generated in the addition of two number then this flag will be set otherwise this flag will be remain reset means if in any operation if carry is generated carry is generated means output will be going to more than 8 bit means if output occurs more than 8 bit means by default a carry is generated and that case carry flag will be set now parity flag parity flag depend upon odd and even means in output if number of ones i am talking about ones if number of ones is even then parity flag will be set if number of one is odd then parity flag will be reset suppose ki i add a two number and output is 0100011 in this case there is no any carry generated means output is 8 bit data means in this case carry flag will be reset now parity flag just count number of ones 1 2 3 4 means number of ones is even then in that case parity flag will be set if number of ones is odd in that case parity flag will be reset now most important auxiliary carry when in this case when a carry transfer from lower bit to higher bit this is lsb lower bit this is msb when a carry transfer from lsb to msb in that case auxiliary carry flag will be set if carry is not transfer from this to this then it will be remain reset uh, taking example simple example suppose two number of this in this case what happen when you add as basically by default any operation perform in microprocessor in hexadecimal if you are going to add 8 plus 8 this is 0 a carry will be generated in this case what happen in this case auxiliary flag will be set suppose you are adding 0504 in this case no carry generated in this position so auxiliary carry will be reset but in this case 8 Plus eight that is sixteen in decimal as it represented one zero zero one is carry in this case auxiliary carry will be set now talking about zero flag what happens that if total output is zero then zero flag will be set otherwise it will be reset it depend upon the content of accumulator suppose you are going to add two numbers. and your output stored in accumulator is 0 0 0 in this case zero flag will be set set means value of zero flag will be 1 otherwise suppose in this case there is output is not zero in this case zero flag will be not set 
means current state of zero flag is zero means this set now sign flag if the output is positive then sign flag will be set otherwise it will be reset this represent seventh bit position zero flag represent sixth bit position auxiliary curl represent fourth position and parity flag two position carry flag zero so basically basic idea of flags flags which are generally stored in current state of processor now they are mainly used five flags one is carry flag second is parity flag third is auxiliary carry zero flag sign flag in carry flag when carry is generated then carry flag will be set parity flag basically represent number of ones in output agar num numbers of ones or even in output then parity flag will be set number of ones or odd then it will be reset of generally carry when it perform any operation if carry transform from lower bit to byte to higher byte in that case of generally carry will be set otherwise it will be reset in case of zero flag agar total output is zero then zero flag will be set otherwise it will be reset in case of sign flag if output is positive then sign flag will be set otherwise it will be reset now to understand just take a example of addition of two numbers simple addition of two number then look how this flag set or reset uh, let me clear the issue again basically this is carry flag parity flag or binary carry zero flag and sign flag in sign flag flag basically if output is positive then sign flag will be reset if output is negative then sign flag will be set now just take a example to understand the functionality of flag register now take a simple example suppose there are two numbers one is 40 as second is 55 as I'm going to add or two will be nine five. Now just writing hexadecimal in form of binary zero zero one zero one zero one. Now carry flag will be zero because when performing addition operation there is no any carry generated. In that case carry flag will be zero. Second is parity flag. Now count number of one. One, two, three, four means number of ones. Number of ones or even means parity flag will be set. Now third is auxiliary carry. This is lower byte or this is higher byte. Condition of auxiliary carry is that if if carry transferred. From lower byte to higher byte. But means if carry transfer from here to here, in that case, auxiliary carry will be set. Otherwise, it will be reset. But in this addition, there is no any carry transform from lower to higher byte. In set in this addition, auxiliary carry will be. Zero means reset. Now zero flag. Uh, basically, in zero flag, if total output is zero, then zero flag will be set. But in this case, total output is not zero. In that, zero flag will be reset. Now sign flag. Condition of sign flag is if output is positive, then sign flag will be reset. If output is negative, then sign flag will be set. In this addition, output is positive, then sign flag will be reset. So basically, you can understand by using a simple example. Ki when and how flags are set or reset in microprocessor. Now, next is data in <coughs> data in memory addresses in microprocessor. So basically, data 
range in microprocessor are from 0 to ff basically these are hexadecimal numbers which are used in microprocessor same as memory address memory address memory address are 0 0 2 basically these are range of memory address this is range of 0 0 2 ff h means hexadecimal number by default microprocessor works on hexadecimal number if you are writing 1 2 by default microprocessor consider it as hexadecimal number not decimal number there are big difference between hexadecimal or decimal number in decimal number and hexadecimal number 0 to 9 both are same but in case of decimal 10 this represent 0 a in 11 this represent b 12 this represent c same as 002 ff means 002 255 002 ff so basically this range are for data same as this is range of memory address is microprocessor now move forward instruction an instruction is a binary pattern defined in the microprocessor to perform a specific function basically what is instruction in microprocessor a instruction is basically a binary pattern which is defined in microprocessor to perform some specific operation in your talks in simple language you can say that basically this is a command to the microprocessor to perform a specific operation some given a specific data means basically instruction you can say that is basically that is a command to provide microprocessor to provide or yeah, to perform some specific function on some given data here is a point binary pattern now let me define about this pattern what is binary pattern what happened in previous days yeah in early days of microprocessor basically instruction are binary pattern same like 0 0 1 1 0 0 so basically this is a binary pattern 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 something like this so in early days of microprocessor so basically instruction are given in term of 0 1 0 1 0 that is called machine language machine now what happened this pattern basically this is very difficult to understand by thought question to basically what is meaning of this binary pattern basically microprocessor understand to what is meaning of this pattern pattern regarding this pattern microprocessor perform the operation but suppose i am a user i am using this pattern so i know very well ki basically what is meaning of this pattern microprocessor know ki basically what is meaning of this pattern but in case of third person third person cannot understand ki basically what is meaning of this instruction or what the operation performed by this instruction to avoid this type difficulty and confusion that later on converted in hexadecimal number hexadecimal value of this number is 3c now it is also difficult to understand by third person he what is basically this meaning of this particular code and what microprocessor perform i am again saying that the microprocessors can understand which operation microprocessor have to perform user who enter this value he can understand the user can understand ki what is meaning of this function but for third person this is very difficult to understand now further later on they converted is this term in an english like language english like language that is called assembly language
means language written in term of 0 1 0 1 or in binary that is called machine language language written in english like language that is called assembly language now let's see what is big difference between machine language or assembly language from taking example of particular this code in this code it is very difficult to understand what is meaning of this particular code same as with this code but in case of this assembly language you can see here is i and r a a means accumulator i and r means increment to compare to this language it is very easy to understand this language means increment a means you can guess an idea even you just need your microprocessor going to increment the container a compared to this in this language you can't guess you can't make any idea key what operation perform and what operation microprocessor will perform with this code but in case of this language in assembly language you can easily understand ki a represent accumulator inr means increment means you are going to increment the container a so this is called assembly language means language written in binary form that is called machine language language written in english like language that is called assembly language in this video of series we have to perform programming using assembly language now so basically what is instruction instruction is a binary pattern defined in microprocessor to perform a specific function in simple language it is a command to microprocessor to perform some specific tasks or some specific given data how culture of instruction are changed in early days a microprocessor instruction are given in form of binary pattern 010101 later on later on it converted in hexadecimal value of the date converted in english like language so currently in microprocessor which program basically programming done in assembly language like language because assembly language very easy to understand compared to machine language so in this video of series you are going to see ki how we can perform assembly language programming in microprocessors one by one every program every type of program we discuss in this type video sometimes the instruction are called as mnemonics mnemonics suppose this is instruction increment a so sometimes this is called mnemonics basically every instruction has two part one is our code second is operand our code and operand now our code means which operation you are going to perform our print means on which you are going to perform in this instruction just take example i am saying that the every instruction has two part one is opcod second is operand opcod means which operation you are going to perform operand means on which you are going to perform in same case in this example you are going to do increment means increment is opcod on which means on accumulator you are going to perform the operation so that is called operand so basically any instruction has two part one is our code second is operand our code means which operation are you going to perform operand means on which you are going to perform so by this example you can understand what is difference between our code and operand our code means you are going to perform increment means that is our code on which on accumulator means that is operand so now let's start programming in microprocessor 
from EG2 highest level of programming microprocessor. In this video of series, I am going to discuss step by step in the how to do microprocessor programming. Easily, how we can write any program in microprocessor. So, thanks for today. Let's start tomorrow for a new program, a new topic.